Yo, what's up? It's your boy Chris, and today we're gonna be finding Deeb's his first love. So, Debo got a whole set of questions that he's gonna be asking all the girls, right? Whoever answer he likes the most gets to stay, but whoever answer he likes the least, you have to skedaddle. So, he's gonna, you, you feel me, boot ya. But before we get into the video, man, I need everybody to smash that like button, get us to like, say, 30k likes, you feel me? Hit that subscribe button and comment right now. Chris and Debo Mafia, we out. If you lying about that, what, could, what else would you lie about? So I don't know, I just can't trust it. And it's, if, if it's true, it kind of do seem kind of boring. You know what I'm saying? It don't seem fun. So, I'm sorry, but gotta be the kickback, man. Yo, what's up? It's your boy, Chris. And it's your boy, Debo, you know. And we back with another banger, man. I'm here with three beautiful young ladies right now. And Debo does not know what any of them look like at all. I'm gonna set him up for a little blind date, man. Let's get it started. Okay, introduce yourself, number one. Hey guys, I'm Miyoko. I'm number one. I'm from Jersey. I'm a Pisces and I'm single. No cap, okay. Number two. What's up, y'all? I'm Skylar and I'm number two because I'm the period. Oh, folks, no, right. <laughs> I'm okay. from Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm a Cancer and I'm single and I'm just here to find my soulmate, my ride or die. Okay. And bless you with this walk, period. Oh, okay. I think people are gonna like you. Number three. Hey guys. Lola, aka Blazing Baby Lola. I'm a Gemini. I'm not two faced. I'm just nasty and classy. Oh. Period. Oh, yeah. I'm from Jersey, and I'm here because I'm single and ready to mingle. Bad, bad, bad. Since y'all have revealed y'all, so hmm. All right, this question is for number one. Alright, so if a kid comes up to you and kicks you in the shin, what do you do? If a kid kicked me in the shin, I'ma kick him back. Why would I let him kick me? Like, Are you just gonna <laughs> kick him back? Yes. Like, I'm not letting nobody hit me, a kid or not. <laughs> so if an eight So if it's a four-year-old. I don't care what age. Alright. I'm hitting him either way. Alright. Challenge. I don't know about that answer. I'm not rocking. Um, <laughs> but okay. So <laughs> Same question for the contestant number two. A kid comes up to you and kicks you in the shin, what do you do? What would I do? What's the question again? A kid comes up to you and kicks you in the shin, what do you do? I'm gonna have to teach him a lesson. I'm gonna be his mama today, and I'm gonna whoop his little tail. <laughs> okay, so are you going to beat him like number one said, or are you going to whoop him like a mother? Because number one said she gonna beat him. Yeah. I'm gonna whoop him. Cause he's still a little kid. Cool. So. She gonna be the four year old? What What do you get out of that? Okay. They need some, um, some milk. Some milk? <laughs> some discipline. Yeah, some discipline. So I'm gonna give him just that. For sure. Yeah. Alright, so what do you do? Okay, if a kid kicked me in the shin, I would, I would cry first cause like I'm real sensitive. You would cry? So like the shin hey, is like a pretty sensitive area. But like, I don't know, if it wasn't an accident, I wouldn't do anything rude to him. I would just be like, you know, you did just kick me. But if it was on purpose, then like, I'll keep getting hit back, period. <laughs> so, what if he kicks you in the shin, then you cry, then you hit him back, then he kicks you in the shin again? Is this gonna be the same cycle? Then I'm telling his mom. <laughs> you six nine. No, six nine. I'm telling his mom, cause no, you're not about to kick me. My face is too pretty to be getting kicked in the shin. So your face is too pretty to be getting kicked in the shin? <laughs> Did you just say that? I'm a cry. <laughs> what? Okay. Right. I'm a cry. Contestant one, what would you change about yourself? Um, I wouldn't change anything about myself because I love myself and I love me. So you're perfect in your own way. Pretty much. Period. Respect. Yeah. Good answer. You gotta love yourself. Good answer. Period. Contestant two. What do you, would you change about yourself? What would I change about myself? Nothing about myself, just that I'm single. I want to change that. Oh, that's why I'm I like that. that. I'm that's just ready to find my soulmate, my other half. So that's the only thing I would change. Okay, that's a good answer. I like that answer, I'm not gonna count. That is an excellent answer. Contestant three, what would you change about yourself? Um, I wouldn't change anything about myself, but I'm definitely changing the numbers in that bank account, cause I'm on Oh, no, no. Cash, I don't want to talk. Period. Right. 
Boss moves. Boss moves, man. Okay. We can make money together, period. You hear that, Debo? She said we can make money together. This question, I'm going to switch it up. Contestant two. Yeah. Okay. What's something non sexy that turns you on? Weird something non sexual. <laughs> oh, that's a hard cut. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I would say a smile. A smile yeah. will turn you on. Get that yeah. wah wah wah. If you have a nice smile, yes. Deeps, you got a nice smile? I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like I might think I have a nice yeah. smile. Walk away with that smile. <laughs> hey, no. Contestant two. I mean, I said contestant two. Um, yeah, all right. Dang, why you keep calling on me? What's something non sexual that turns you on? Contestant one. Oh, something non sexual that turns me on is rubbing my ear and making Rubbing my ear. Yeah, like, just rub my ears. Play with my ears when you want to get... Can I ask you something? What do you get out of that? <laughs> this wop. That's what you get. <laughs> Period. So, Miss Nasty and Classy, what's that all about? Nasty and Classy is just like, on the outside, you're going to see a classy girl for me. Money. And on the inside. But on the inside, behind closed doors, Hmm, Miss Skyler, since you always trying to, you know what I'm saying, be a mama, be, be no people, what people? Yeah. You want to be in charge in a relationship? Or what? You know what? What's, it's what's not up? even that. It's just, you need somebody that's going to treat you like your mama if you don't want them going around here doing her shit. So, yeah. And boys, boys need a nurturing other half to treat them like a mama because... They know that's gonna be the girl that's gonna be there at the end of the day. So. And you already know Debo's a mama's boy. <laughs> Period. Yes. Oh, I'm not gonna this body. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, testing, testing, one, two. Chris going crazy. You did not just have to say that. Move up, wait, type it down a little bit. I might be leaving. You ain't even have to just say that. You said that you would kick and hit and beat a kid back if they kicked you in your shin. Yes. So that means you just gonna go back for every argument. You just gonna. Yeah, like I like the aggressive. Sh so if I'm gonna be aggressive to a kid, I'm gonna be aggressive to him. So what if he aggressive back? You like that aggressive. Yeah. So you like that kid? You sound like, bad, you sound like bad baby. Yup. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> So contestant number one, question is for you. Do you consider cheating a big deal? <laughs> so you don't no, consider no, cheating a big deal? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do. I do consider cheating Whoa. a big deal because, like, what do you need to cheat for if you want to be with me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what do you need to cheat for? You need to cheat for me. You need to cheat for me. So contestant number two, do you consider cheating a big deal? You know what? In the beginning, yes, I do consider cheating being a big deal but you know what as like you keep getting cheated on as you keep can i stop you for a minute okay. you said it in the beginning like that's no so you didn't let me finish sick. in the beginning like when you consistently get cheated on it don't even matter like once it's happened so many times you just get used to it and start doing the shit back so yeah deeps 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 oh am i cursing deeps i have something yeah. to say so you are saying that you automatically assume that you are getting cheated on. No, so like I'm saying cheated. if it actually happens, like can you find out? So when you find out, you don't just break up with them? Yeah, but not, you say you, you just cheat continue them? to cheat on them? Oh no, That's no, you, you break up with them. Like, no, don't handle that. Contestant number three, do you consider cheating a big deal? Yes, cheating is a big deal. First of all, what do you need to cheat for? I can cook, I can clean. She can I can take care of you. Uh -uh. And also, 
You don't gotta cheat because I can change my hairstyle. This is my real hair, but I can go get a wig for you. I'll be <laughs> Jessica, <laughs> Betty, Shakrina, feel me? Like, what do you need to cheat on? What do you need to cheat on for? Like, there you go. For me, bro. What do you want? Ari, what's up, Bree? Jessica, in the love. Which one? I'll be an Instagram baddie. Exactly. Hey, what number that is again? <laughs> number three. I'ma keep that in the back of my mind. <laughs> we gonna move on. So, contestant number one. Have you ever had a night stand? One night stand? No, I haven't. I just feel like, why would I have, why would I do something with you if I barely even know you? All right. Yeah. <laughs> cool, cool answer. I trust that answer. But all right, contestant number two. Have you ever had a one night stand? No, I have er never had a one night stand because you can't. You and can't then she, she lied. She stuttering. She did, is she lying. Stuttering? Yeah, she did a little bit. <laughs> Good. She is lying. She can't even get her ass all right. No, don't mess with anyone who doesn't know your worth and who would consider you as a one night stand. So. No cap. Period. Okay. I tuned out. I'm sorry. Contestant number three, have you ever had a one night stand? Uh, no, because I don't even, like... <laughs> Stuttering, bro! Stuttering. What is going on? Not, because I've never even talked... I can't even talk. I'm not doing anything with you unless I'm your girl and I know your mom, period. Okay. You got morals. I do have morals, because I know my worth. For sure. Alright, so, um, contestant number one, you know, I like your answers, you know, it's just, I don't know, I feel like you could be lying about that one night stand thing, and, you know, if you lying about that, what, could, what else would you lie about? So, I don't know, I just can't trust it. And it's, if, if it's true, it kind of do seem kind of boring, you know what I'm saying, it don't seem fun. So, I'm sorry, but... Yeah, I need a kickback, man. All right. Hi. Is that what I did? Bye. Great <laughs> day, DMV. Peace out. Bye. Um, you and I think I, I don't know, Keith. What you think? What you think I made a mistake? I think I might have. I kind of, I, I kind of regret it. I'm sorry. Can I get a do over? No do over. And now we back. Contestant number one has been eliminated, and two and three are still remaining. <laughs> What y'all on? How y'all feel? I feel great. Y'all cooling? I'm cooling. Deej. What it do, man? What's the word? <laughs> I'm nervous, folks. I ain't gonna cap. Man, we finna get into it, though. All right. Contestant number one. No more contestant number oh, one. Yeah. Contestant number three. Sing a sexy song. See how them vocals coming. All right. We be all night. <laughs> you should have just left it to me. We be all night. Love. Love. We be all night. And everything all right. No complaints for my body. So flourishing under these lies. Boy, I'm drinking. <laughs> but okay. I keep this white one lock until I'm your girl, so. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Damn, we got votes, man. All right, all right. All right, contestant number two. I don't know she know how to play that through. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Oh, whoa. whoa. This is crazy. Whoa. whoa. This is wild. Oh. Like, as an instrument. Oh, no. Nah. All right, all right, all right. Bet. That's Contestant number who? Two? Alright. You stranded on the island. What three things do you wish you had? 
The three things I would wish for is you, you, and you, because all I need is you in my life, period. Oh my god. She's just shot the shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. She's blinking like that. That is the right man. answer. I don't know if she's trying to charm me, but that is the right answer, Keith. We gonna move on. Fuck oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, contestant three. If you could be an animal, what would you be and why? I would be a snake, cause I'm real smooth with it. Snake? What type of You just came off wrong, bro. You would be a snake? Yeah. What? Yeah. Oh, why would you want to be a snake? I want to be a snake because we're real smooth with it for me. But we're also real fast and we can sneak up behind you and we hold you tight. Snake? Period. Whoa. Cause I'ma hold you tight. <laughs> okay. Contestant three. No. Oh. Shit. <laughs> Contestant. I know you want me. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait. All right. Contestant two. If I came up and kissed you, what would you do? What would I do? I would stop you from kissing me, and then I would kiss you. Dang. Dang. I like to be in charge. Whoa. She gonna beat you. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm never dang. getting that. It's never. But I would. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> I would wear the pants. That's pretty in every good. Situation. <laughs> you know. Contestant three. What'd it do? If you would have came up here to kiss me? <laughs> is that the question? He didn't say the question. You want it to be? Go ahead and ask the question. If I came up and kissed you, what would you do? First off, I would stop you, get up, and then you could take me on a date because I'm not kissing nobody that doesn't take me on a date first. <laughs> you, you, you a gentleman, Deeds? Or are you rocking out? I'm rocking out. All right. I'm rocking out. Next. All right, contestant number three. How long would you make me wait? How long would I make you wait? Yeah. Everybody connects on a different vibe, you know what I mean? So like, it depends on how good we vibe and how good we know each other. I'm not just doing it right off the bat. I'm not setting a limit because everybody gets to know each other at different times. I like that. I like that. All right. All right, contestant number two. Demonstrate what you would sound like if you were moaning my name right now. Cause she think she made me stutter. Huh? See you. Okay. Then. Cause she. I won. You didn't get the joke. And man, this is hard to say. You know, both of y'all had some really good answers. I'm not gonna lie. What was that number two? I don't know what that last one was. That was kind of weird. Yeah, okay. I don't understand what you was going at. You know, you were supposed to be mourning Deeb's name, but you ain't do that at all. But you know, contestant three. You know, you seem cool. You boring, but you seem cool. I like a boring girl. So contestant two. Um, you know, I think you gotta bounce, man. Whoa, Deeds. Do you regret your decision, Deeds? Do you regret this? Yeah. Do you? Yeah, I regret it. I lied. Like. I think I need a moment. So, Chris, you 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 you, you supposed to be the guys. You couldn't even hit me. Did but Deez, you got yourself a winner. Period. So, what's the way, man? You won. You I know, I'm a winner. I never lose, so. For sure, you trying to go on a date with my cousin, man. He's trying to go on a date with me. <laughs> okay, tell me what you would picture the first date. The first date, I would do something fun. I like going on picnics, so, like, if we did that. Picnics. Yeah. Outside. Outside, good vibes, 
music, you can just have deep conversations. Like I'm really good with astrology and stuff. So like I love talking, getting to Yeah, he don't know what that word means. Well, I'm gonna teach him. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. I like Is this a good match? You think? I think so. I'm not gonna cap. I think I think y'all are gonna. This is giving me like Reese Cup vibes. Oh, fuck. Real Reese Cup vibes. Peanut oh. butter chocolate. So, Debo, you heard, you, you heard what she wanted her first date to be? I want a picnic. So we can talk. We can vibe. She wanna talk and vibe yeah, yeah. with you. What you wanna do? Remember? Don't, don't remember what she answered. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. <laughs> we can talk? Yeah. How often do you like talking though? Every day, all the time. Why is it a problem? Cause I'm like a real like laying back type. I don't like talking, you know. What? what? You like? I want to know everything about you and why you want to talk to me. Uh, okay, so you I'm not no like temporary type of girl. Like once I get to know you, what's to talk about then? There's gonna be a lot to talk about. Debo, bro. What do you like in a woman? I like my girl to be, you know. Clean, keep myself put together, you know. She's clean, I see together. Like, she keep her nails dead, her feet dead. She's smart, you know. I like that about a girl. And loyal, you know. I don't need that all in one. You know? Wait, 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 wait. What? You said something about loyal. Don't start. Oh, I'm loyal. loyal. I'm don't, very loyal. We don't know about that. I'm very loyal. We don't know about that yet. Well, I'll find out. He'll find out, period. Damn, we gonna find out. <laughs> We got that ain't time. good. He told me you gonna find out. That means you gonna find out that she gonna cheat or not, nigga. Nigga, what you tell me? Yeah, it's your I got a bad bitch, little misbehave. She hop on my dick, she's tryna wrap the wave. My shoes off, white t-shirt, babe. When I post on IG, the internet.